So today we're learning about squared numbers and to help us we're going to use, well, squares. Let's lay out the numbers 1, 4 and 9. We can lay these numbers out nicely into perfect squares. You can see that for number 1 I used 1 square down and 1 square across. For the number 4 I used 2 squares down and 2 squares across. And for the number 9 I used 3 squares down and 3 squares across for a total of 9 squares. And if you doubt me, you can count the squares yourself. Looking back at number 1 then, we can see that 1 by 1 or 1 times 1 equals 1. For 4, 2 by 2 or 2 times 2 equals 4. And the last one, 3 by 3 or 3 times 3 equals 9. 1, 4 and 9 are squared numbers. In fact, any time you multiply a number by itself, you get a squared number. So 1 times 1 is 1, 2 2s two's are 4, 3 3s three's are 9, 4 4s four are 16, 5 5s five are 25, and so on. You can keep on going up and up and up. You don't always have to write it out like this though. In fact, there's a shorter way of writing it. Instead of writing 1 times 1, people sometimes just write 1 with a little 2 up at the top like that. This little 2 means squared, so that number is 1 squared. And really what you're thinking in your head when you say 1 squared is you're thinking of the number 1 turned into a square, like we just did before. And you can do that with all of these numbers. You could do 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, and so on. You get the idea. The good news is that if you know your times tables, you will already know most of the squared numbers below 200. That does sound pretty impressive, so give yourself a pat on the back for that. And have a look at what happens when you colour them in on a multiplication grid. It's a pretty interesting pattern, isn't it? Anyways, now that you know what squared numbers actually are, here are the first 12 square numbers. 1, 2, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, and 144. Whew, managed to do that in one breath. To make sure that you really have got the hang of what squared numbers actually are, I challenge you to see if you can figure out what two numbers you need to multiply together to find each of these square numbers here. As a wee bonus fact for you, the number that you need to multiply by itself to get the squared number is called the square root, sort of because it's the root of the problem. Get it? Okay, okay, I know that was really lame. But I really hope this video has helped you to understand what squared numbers are. Of course, always remember that the best way to learn is to practice this for yourself. But that's everything for this video, so I'll catch you next time. Bye for now!